Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Wheels, and today we're going to be tearing the ultimate tier in Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're going to be tearing the new Pokemon that came out and the characters. Um, so yeah, I am tearing these on just typing and usefulness, but also we're going to avoid putting crit the crit like criteria and competitive because this game doesn't have a competitive. It's just like my own preference of what I think if it's the Pokemon's good or not and just my own uh, preference of, of me liking the Pokemon or not. This goes as well with the characters so if you feel indifferent let me know in the comment section down below and as always if you enjoyed the video and you want more Pokemon content make sure you first drop a like making sure you leave do it softly because we need that for that like button for future videos but you go smash the subscribe button and hit the bell for more pokemon related videos that being said we're gonna start off with arcanine i used arcanine on my run i like arcanine i like the design it's just like i don't know it's like it's supposed to be that noble dog or basically like big dog for back in the day like the design many people felt they didn't do much to it but like there really isn't much to change um in, in the minor changes they did it looks really good but this thing first of all strength wise it doesn't like like it, the fire typing is good and it's it's got some strength but it really didn't do much like it didn't do much and um uh, most importantly, like typing wise, it it got rocked by a lot of things. A, a lot of things. This thing is like four times weak to water, four times weak to ground, two times weak to feel, like two times weak to fighting. I like I like the, the the freaking defenses on this thing. It lost a lot of defenses. Um, from regular Arcanine. It just does not feel as bulky as regular Arcanine and like that was like Arcanine's thing. For that purposes, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna put a B tier because overall it sh it, it's probably lower but I like Hasuan <laughs> Arcanine and how it looks. Hasuan, Voltorb, and Electrode. It was Grass Electric. So I feel like grass makes the ground typing neutral. It's electric typing it is is not a hindrance because it's now neutral to ground. Uh, that doesn't mean that it, it's not gonna get hit hard because its defenses are terrible. But like the one thing that uh, a regular electro didn't like was the ground moves. Obviously now it also can hit it super effectively with the grass move. So you know there's some differences there. Um, but it also gets some additional weaknesses. It's now weak to fire, ice, flying, like, actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's neutral to flying because of the electric. Um, so, like, its speed is there. I also like the way it looks. People don't like it. What's wrong with it? I, I you know what? Um, I'm saying B tier. The way it looks, I, uh, it's speedy, it, like it's just a regular electrode, but like, I don't know, it, it looks really, really good. And also has, I don't know, it gives me a Haunter vibe. Like Haunter took over the electrode. Uh, Hisuian uh, Typhlosion. I'm just going to put it right here. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to go all be all out freaking S tier. Um, only because like I don't know I feel like overall like typing wise it's fine um, fire ghost uh, I, I, I didn't look at stats that much because I remember I said I don't look at competitive I'm not the competitive guy um, but overall I, I, why did they make it look like it's so sad like they made it look like it's so sad um, and like the flames, like the flames are the key part and it's like when you throw in the overworld It doesn't have its flames. I still like the color scheme um, with the blue flames and Shiny is really good. It goes back to its traditional ways Next up, we're gonna put both at the same time um, It's primal Dialga and primal Polkia 
and bro i don't know what the fuck these are i'm just saying sit c tier dude like what what are they trying to do i i, I could kind of see what they're trying to do with this one but even then it will, why did he lose his hands this thing fucking will look a, a fucking amazing as it's like a scimitar it has his hands but it doesn't even have hands and, and why does dialga i think this is dialga yeah this is dialga why is dialga look like he swallowed a fucking truck and it doesn't want to go down what what like look at this what is this i just don't like it dude i don't like it the only reason why they're not f tier is like they're legends like you gotta give some respect i guess i don't know dude there's they're just why there's just the most weirdest change of all the pokemon these things look absolutely terrible samurott ah uh, Oh man, dude. I hate to do this, man. I hate to do this. I really do. Because I am the water Pokemon. And we're going to be doing this sometime later on. We're going to be tier listing every water Pokemon. Every one of them. There's barely any bad water Pokemon. And. Dude. I know I, I gave A tier for Hisuian Typhlosion, um, even though the change is not really a lot. But I mean, this is C, C tier. Water Dark um, is good, but like, what is this color scheme? What? Uh, what? They literally is just like, let's give him a stash, a long mustache. And just make him water dark. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm being harsh. Probably being too harsh. I've never liked just regular Samurott. Like, out of all the water starter Pokemon, Samurott, the final form, is just not my thing. Um, water dark, uh, honestly, it's not bad typing. It's, it's like immune to psychic. Um, but, like... It, it now adds like it's weak to freaking fairy while normal water Pokemon aren't weak to fairy So yeah, if you have a bulky water Pokemon, you could use that to uh, Help you deal with a fairy type now. You can't even do that with Samurott. Hisuian Lilligant, bro <laughs> Bro, bro I, I am this is contradicting what I say about fucking Water types and I just put a fire type in a tier and, and a grass type in S tier while having freaking my water type two water types in C tier listen uh, grass fighting honestly it's a weird combo it's quad weak to flying now um, but listen the design is so good um, I honestly I even liked the way they, they brought it in as the noble Pokemon when you had to like comment and the intro was so amazing like it, it made you feel like it was a new character that you had to fight and it like it like it, if you played street fighter or super mario and it's like a fighter has appeared or a new opponent has appeared that's what it felt like and and you know for it having the fighting type it just it blended so well is it s tier probably not oh man um okay I'm gonna put the bias down just a little bit, just a little bit. I'll put an A tier, but it's really good. It's shiny. It's really good. It's uh, this. It, it, this has to go S tier, dude. This has to go S tier. Typing wise, normal ghost. Are you kidding me? It's main normal was only weak to one thing, and that was fighting. And now it's like immune to it. Sure. Now you're work weak to dark and and ghost, but actually. You're immune to ghost. You're literally immune to ghost and fighting. So you're only worried about freaking dark type um, and psychic types. Like what? What? Are you kidding me? And it's, I don't know. The design is really, really well done. And the freaking shiny, it's, it just pays a tribute to the original shiny. It's purple, but it's like white and purple and Zora. 
Again, well done. Dude, this is S tier all the way. I can't even change my mind. Like, there's no way. If you make it tier, there's no way that you can't make that S tier. You, there's no way. Suing bravery. Mm. I want to say a uh, B tier. I like I like the way they made his his suing bravery and I like the shiny. Um, overall, it's like my preference. I I wanted to use it, but like it's to level up. You had to like level up a rufflet to its normal thing. And shiny, shiny is really good. I I really they uh, shiny his uh his Sue and bravery looks so good. It's just typing wise, psychic flying. It's not overall helpful. Uh, <laughs> It's not overall helpful, but it's because it's adding on to its freaking what it's weak to. Like, it was already weak to ice, electric. Um, now it's weak to dark, uh, freaking ghost. His suing, um, Gudra. Yeah, there we go. His suing Gudra. I use this on my team. Type, okay, I'm just gonna give it A. I don't like the design too much. Um, I people attacked me because I was using it the whole time, but they're like, "Bro, how you not like the design?" I I get the design, so like I can't be mad at it. But typing wise, this thing was a goddamn tank for me, dude. Honestly, typing wise, um, for any playthrough, you you have to have this on your team. Dragon Steel, it literally it like, I think it was only weak to ground typing and dragon typing. There is there's only one other. Was there? Oh yeah, there's only one other dragon in the game, which is Garchomp, and obviously actually there's two. There's Garchomp, and then there's the Legends, which was Diago and Pokia. So throughout the game, the only thing that's gonna give you trouble is Garchomp. Uh, dude, I is it bad? I'm gonna put this in C tier because it was a. Yeah, I got to. I have to put this in C tier, dude. Dude, it's freaking frenzied fucking noble Pokemon was a pain in the ass. You guys know how much I hated it. Not because of the difficulty and not because of itself, but just like you had to dodge its moves and its moves will land on white. And the, like, the thing to tell you where it's going to land is white. So you literally... If your fucking eyesight is bad like mine's, you get a headache easily just seeing white on white. It was, oh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this thing is ice rock. So already typing wise, it's, it, it, it's oof. Because you're quad weak to fighting, quad weak to steel. You're weak to fire. Actually, um, actually, you're not weak to fire because of rock typing. But you are weak to ground typing. <clears throat> you're weak to fighting typing. You're weak to freaking fire typing. Even though you're not going to see a lot of that in <laughs> Legends Arceus. And overall, typing wise, eh. Um, it's really freaking slow. So, like, yes, it might have high attack and it probably has good defenses. But the typing doesn't let it, you know have those defensive defenses um work his suing uh freaking decidui bro bro uh, after we had one in our team you can, listen rollick gang all the way and i love the design um it's like a samurai type of ninja type of deal we did do a whole ninja theme in our in our game so i mean it fit fucking perfectly um and then the shiny form like does really well to represent original decidui i don't know dude it looks so good weird deer uh listen this is this was uh normal psychic um i'm sorry i just can't i i like the design it's literally it's got a big beard but overall it is 
Uh, I, I, I can't really say much that it's it's just meh. Like, it's just meh. Um, I'm glad they gave Stantler an evolution, though. I, I actually love that they gave him an evolution. It's just like... I don't know. I don't think they could have done much to improve it, if you know what I mean. All right, Cleavor. I used it a lot. Ooh. I'm going to give it B tier. Again, Cleavor has these good defensive. It's Bug Rock. But, like, it still didn't take the hits well. And it's just... I don't know. I, I, it's really... It's not fast, the slope. It was really strong. And I, I personally love the design. Not many people love the design. I don't know what. What's wrong with a Pokemon having two fucking axes as his hand? I used a Cleavor the entire playthrough. I liked it. I think it's mid-tier. I don't think it's bad. Um, but I don't think it's worth being A or S tier. Uh, just uh, I used like the whole thing. And, and it, it, it did some work. Don't get me wrong, it did some work, but there were times where I felt like it should have won the fight and did the damage, but wasn't there long enough to win the fight, if you guys know what I mean. Hisuian Ursaluna, or basically Ursaluna. This is rough. Okay, I'm giving it A tier. Ground normal, which, I mean, it's already... It's the typings aren't good, like the, the resistance. But this thing is another tank. It is slow, very slow. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's it's freaking um has its attack stat is through the roof and it has a, a lot of defensive stat. So it was it, even though it's slow, it was able to stay in the fight and do a, a lot of damage. If you guys saw the gameplay where we were facing volo it took on volo by basically by itself it took five off on and literally was there the entire time like it was there i also like its design it, it, they just made it more honky dude like they made it look like a real freaking papa bear dude and it's like don't mess with mama bear god i'm gonna fuck you up uh basculin basculegion uh I'm gonna give it B tier. There's two forms. There's the male and the female. I just put um, it here. The difference is like I think male has more attack than special attack, and female has more special attack than attack. It's okay. Um, it's water psychic. I want to say it is water ghost. So like type typing is okay. I don't know. It, it's to me, it's water type. I like water types. I'm glad they gave Basculin an evolution. It's not bad. Um, it's not something that's like gonna blow you away. Um, plus, riding it was really fun. Like, you literally go in the air, just fucking fly. Psh, whoosh. <laughs> it was fun. Um, I never used one because I decided to go and play with Ursaring for the entire game before I finally got Ursa Luna. Uh, but yeah. All right. Uh, Sneezler, dude. It, 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 it's gonna go F, bro. <laughs> bro, what the fuck is that, dude? What the fuck is that, dude? I get it. They needed a Pokemon to climb the rocks. I get it. So it, it has to have long legs, and big nails, long arms to climb its ass up the mountain. But why you had to choose Sneasel, dude? Like... It's designed. Some people like it. I think it's terrible, dude. It's what? It's color scheme. Oh god. Oh man, it's terrible, dude. It's my only F tier Pokemon. You know what? It's Nizo had a growth spurt, and it was a growth spurt that didn't work well. It was a growth spurt that didn't grow go well. Next up. So, oh, and this is actually an evolution of a sewer Pokemon. This is Overquill. Bro, A tier, my dude. A tier, fucking perfect, dude. It, first of all, the design is fucking nailed, dude. Fucking nailed. Freaking Quillfish evolving to that. Great. It's 
psychic dark or dark poison. You can see it's dark poison by the way the design and its color scheme. Its shiny color scheme is good. We used it in our team. It was fucking good. I, I did. There's not much else to say. It's it's stats. I know we don't look at stats, but overall, it's stats. Um, did like it, it, it's enough to deal damage to take damage. Um, it's not gonna outspeed you, but it isn't slow, dude. Freaking perfect. Oh man, you know what? You know what? This is my tier. I'm moving to S. Fuck it. Yes, we had a ground, it's ground typing, like it's ground damage or super effectiveness that it gets hit from. Sucks. But this thing was able to take on ghost types, psychic types, um, fighting types because the poison makes it neutral. Literally grass type. Dude, <laughs> it's typing is really good. Uh, and, and, and it's just that's a good mod. Dude. Finally, we have an amorous. I haven't actually caught this. Um, I have never used this because I haven't reached this far in the game. Uh, I know it's very flying. It's just like the other Tornadus and um, Tornadus, Thunderous, and Landorus. It's it's it, it, it's its own genie Pokemon. Um, it's female. It's only female, if I'm not mistaken. So for I don't know. I think they did an okay job. Um, just, it, 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 people don't look don't like how it looks, but it, it I don't know. It, it gets the job done. It's enamorous, which is like love. So, like it's like kind of the love doctor. So, yeah. We have one more, um, one more um, tier to go through. If you somehow watched this far on YouTube, again. Appreciate it if you drop a like and subscribe. And then again, comment down below what you guys think. And I'm gonna leave a link so that you guys can do your own tier and let me know on Twitter uh, at Willie Plays um, of what your tier list is. And I'll leave this on Twitch as well. So our next one is characters, guys. We're gonna do every fucking character. Um, I only did main characters that we fucking ran into or so, talk a lot to and our tears are simple s a b s and a race please like get them the fuck off this planet um we're gonna start with the actual main like character which is us and obviously when we choose female there's the male and when there's a male there's a female let's i'm just gonna put here listen it's us like if it's not s tier i like what wh what are we we're we're mid nah man we're always s tier you always rank yourself high because and, and honestly um the opposite so the, you know, obviously the cpu takes over the opposite i, I it, it, they, they they showed expressions they're not like over the top you know like for me i chose the male so akira was it wasn't she wasn't annoying she wasn't there all the time it, it, it's like obviously it's not a rival which sucks we don't have a rival but this isn't this game isn't about battling this game is something different, right? So, it wasn't bad, but I always put S tier because, dude, it's us. All right, so let's start with uh, this chick. I already forgot her name because I I even I didn't even choose her. Uh, so, I want to say, God, people are gonna not like me. Listen, this this character I, I can't even remember her name. That's pretty bad, okay? Like when I can't remember your name, you didn't make an impression on me. It's bad. It's very bad. Um, but I do remember her. She's the Pearl Clan. Yeah, she's the Pearl Clan's uh, leader. She's very timid, shy. I think it's shy. Just unconfident. And like, I, dude, I, I don't know. I, I felt her, I, she was so annoying. I didn't like the character. I like I said when we had to choose um, between her and Adamen, I chose Adamen. That just shows you. I remember Adamen, but I don't remember her name. So C tier. Uh, Liam, 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 Liam. Yeah, Liam. Liam. God, this would have looked bad. Uh, you know what? He helped us. 
Uh, he's B tier. You know what? He, he's he's a tough little runt. Yeah, why not B tier? He's tough little runt. He he uh he, he was made some impressions here and there. He was the uh, warden for Cleavor, so we met. He was the first warden we met, and then he helps you get the stones needed for making the red ball. So I mean, it, it's I guess he's somewhat important. Um, we have this old lady. Kaba, I think. No, no. Listen, I can't remember. Not, I can't remember all of their names. But all I know is I, I called her an old hag. You know, she changed afterwards. So I'll say B tier as well. She after after she, we changed her mind. I, I, she was she's much nicer. You know what? The old lady get, gets to go to B tier. I know this is terrible because I can't name them all, but. Trust me, I remember them. I remember them. This is the warden for uh, Ursaluna, and she also helps you out later in the game. So yeah, um, we have this person. This person was in love. She is the warden for Arcanine. Um, they had a little love story with this guy, Iskin. I think his name is Iskin. Um, so no, I don't know where to put her, dude. <laughs> I, I feel like, okay, I'm going to go to C tier. People might think, oh my god, he's putting all the female characters in C tier. It's not, listen, this has nothing to do with gender. Listen, they're very, she let Growlithe get kidnapped, okay? Let's get that right. She let Growlithe get kidnapped, and then, I don't know, She she's... I don't know. She's very timid. I, 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 maybe it says a lot about me. We're just gonna move on. She just T C tear. She's, she's kind of mid. All right, all right. Uh, this guy. You know, I like this guy. I'll name, put him A. Uh, he's the one you walk through the cave. He also came through the space time rift, so he's from the future, just like me. Fucking why not? Um, so he, he has a past in the Pokemon games. Uh. But also, I can't, I, dude, people kept telling me he's a twin of someone on another game. So, I, just because of that, he kind of enrages me. But, you know, he wasn't a bad character. I really liked him. I really liked him. Uh, we have th this guy. He's always working out, dude. He's always working out, dude. Um, the man, just, the, the man's work out 24-7. He's, he's way over. Nah, man. He is the warden for freaking. Uh, hey, I'm gonna be C tier. He's way over, way overly uh, aggressive, dude. The man's just working out all the time. The man fucking literally uh, teabagged. He was teabagging every everywhere. Like, listen, cut the teabag. Cut the teabagging. Stop it. All right, Volo. This is Volo. All right, listen. I didn't have problems with Volo at the beginning. Beginning of the game, all right. Throughout the game, no problems with Volo. Uh, just a heads up: if you haven't finished the game, you might want to mute me. This is spoiler alert. Uh, uh, so, and what do you know? Erase this man. Erase this man. This man. Annoy the fuck out of me. Listen, I should have seen it coming. I should have seen the betrayal. Listen. I got so tired. I got so tired of trying to fucking beat him, man. It's so annoying. You beat him and then you have to beat him again and you beat him again. You're finally like, fucking yes, we made it. And then you gotta fucking beat him again, dude. It was so annoying. I don't know how I feel about him, but erase this man. Erase this man. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. All right, the mistress. The mistress. You know, we're not gonna go a lot. It's, the name says it all. She took me home. I got kicked out of the village. And she, she, she said, my home, your home. My home is your home. Me, casa, soup, casa. We only have one bed, so we're going to have to share. I said, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, 
We're gonna put you know Cognita, the mistress, and and eight and eight tier. All right, Benny. Benny is the guy that called you an outsider, and turned out he's like one of the right hand man of Komodo. The man was a ninja. He, I never had good vibes with him, but so I'm gonna give him C tier. The man, the man is just he didn't like me from day one. Never gave me a chance, dude. He just fed me mochi potato mochi balls because they invited me. But if it was just me, the man. The man was stuck. He just never liked me, man. All right. Cellini. You know what? I had a rough start with Cellini, but her freaking character development, dude, really good. I, honestly, she comes out hard around the edges, but for her to turn around and, like, go against orders to try to help you, um, it just shows, I don't know, the character was really well made. I feel like it was really well made. Um, it, it, it just shows like tough love, uh, knowing what is best, even though it might not go towards the main leader. Um, so like, it, I, I don't know, good in instincts and everything, just really well made. I, I really like how they made Selene. All right, Professor Leventon. I'm giving him B. The man was annoying. Okay, he's not. A, he's not a very impressionable professor. We've had better professors. There's been, you know, better professors. He's no professor, Oak. Listen, at the same time, he's not bad. Like he just. I think he just talks too much. Just shut the fuck up. You explained it to me. Thank you. Can I go get you more Pokemon? Oh, you're still explaining. Okay, you done. No, okay. Listen, that's the only thing I didn't like. He just had so much dialogue. I know he's the professor, but still. Look at his hat, man. I want that. Why can't I get that hat? Honestly, the hat makes him beat here. I said it. Adam, man. Um, I think he's saying his name wrong, but still. Oh, uh, man. You know what? He, he, he doesn't, doesn't think right. Like, his thought process needs to work. But, I don't know. He's pretty cool. I like his wardrobe. I chose him over this chick when it came down to it to help me. He, he's got his batting skills on, on set. If, I were to, if you were to ask me, all right, you had to choose between this person and this person to be your leader. Who would you want to be your leader? I want the guy that's got his head on, on the swivel. Like, like it's, he's set straight. He makes decisions. And you could tell, and we're going to get to a character that I hate so much. Um, but, like, he knows when something's fucking bad. He's like, dude, what the fuck? So, uh, uh, Adam Man is definitely A tier. I can't say he's S tier, but you know what? I liked him. I liked him. All right. Iskan. I think it's Iskan. I, I, I think. You know what? He has B tier. The man, literally, he's a chicken. He, he, that's why he's not getting A tier. He's a chicken. He couldn't fucking say Dusclops. He can't even say the Pokemon name. But I like the little love story he had with this chick. And he was brave enough to go in the water and help her. That's the only reason why they liked each other. So, like, yes, he's scared of ghost Pokemon. But if necessary, he will put his fears aside and go help. So, you know what? It reminds me of me. Fuck it. <laughs> She's the hairdresser. She hurt her leg. She's the warden for um, Lilligant. I'll say B tier. She's okay. Um, she tried, over tried, and messed some things up, and then she ended up hurting her leg. But she's not bad. I wish she had better hairstyles. She turns, she, she turns to be the like the hair haircut person, the style hairstylist. It, it, the hair is that, that that the game is not customizable that much. This character, uh, this she, you know what? I don't mind her. I don't mind her. She, she's tough. 
she has a munchlax so you know that already says a lot dude it, it, it. screw snorlax munchlax or magikarp's the way to go she's in the post game you know what she's okay she's okay in my books um i don't really have much to say i know it's like this is of my own opinion i feel like i don't know i remember would remember her more than i remember any of these people and i didn't talk to her she's also like the first mission you get outside the village than just catching pokemon you have to beat uh alpha pokemon with her so i don't know i, I, I that's what maybe why, why i remember her more even though i can't remember her. all right fucking melly 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 fuck off dude this guy is so arrogant listen i hate arrogant people there is one thing to be super confident there's another thing to be fucking arrogant and i wanted a fucking punch i almost punched the fucking screen one time playing this game dude and they nailed it on the head of someone super arrogant to the point i hate this character so overall no 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 erase this character with bolo don't be in the game. Get out. All right, the little girl. The little I'm sorry, dude. The little girl is C tier, dude. C tier. I I ain't chasing her, dude. Dude, she like I don't mind a little cat and mouse game. When you're going all the way across the map over here, then all the way across the map over there, and then you got to go all the way up the fucking mountain. It's, that was the most fucking annoying fucking mission. That took 20 minutes out of my life that I could have spent doing something else, dude. The fighting person that teaches you fighting moves. And I, honestly, I thought this was broken. I don't mind her. She's tough. She reminds me of Zarya from Overwatch. It's just the tough trainer that literally could put you into shape. Um, it's a B tier. She's she mid. I, 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 you know, she doesn't contribute much to the story. But then she does help you with Pokemon, so I put her in here. And finally, Komodo. You know, I hate that he kicked me out of the village. That that hurt a lot. But that is also showing leadership. Um, because obviously, he's like, he needs to do what's best for the village. I get it, dude, I get it. If I was Hokage of a village, and I felt that was... The most necessary thing to protect my village i would do it too so i didn't mind komodo and then at the end he like does a couple of battles with you he's not bad battler and not bad I, I like him i like them i think he's a tier he's not s tier but he's a tier so that is my tier list of characters again not many s tiers here besides the main character and selene i felt like not many people left like a great impression on me besides Selini. Um, as always, for those watching on YouTube, let me know what your thoughts are, both Pokemon rating and character rating. Um, do you agree with my tier list? What would you change of my tier list? Let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate one that watched the video. As always, if you enjoyed, smash that like button, click subscribe for more Pokemon videos. And I will see you next time. Peace.